What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today, water cooling, right? Look at this. This is our new water block, right? Looks good. It's from a company called Biz Whiskey. I don't know. It's pretty cool. I like the block. It has the acrylic top in it and I was uh, looking at the way that the grooves work on it and I like it because the water goes in and then it pushes it through the vents and then the water will spread on either side and then come back out of the channel so this is the new water block wanted to show you all that uh, the we swapped out the GTX 980 or the 9 no 9800 for a GTX 580 for the win with a water block and it has a black plate on it, which is really nice. Um, I went ahead and got it plumbed up. So I got the quick disconnect fittings on it. And I picked up some uh, stuff at the hardware store. So I got that good and ready to go. Uh, our Alpha Cool stuff finally arrived. This is the Alpha Cool water block and pump reservoir combo. We're actually going to have two pumps on the system to have, because we're going to have dual radiators and dual um, uh, uh, reservoirs. So we're going to need an extra pump to contain it. Plus what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a heat sink or a heat spreader to it. You know, something like this, all right, and have a fan blowing on it. So that way when the water goes inside of this pump, it'll be cooled down even further as it makes its way through the system. So this right here was the cheapest way of going because I was going to have to buy fittings for the front, the back, the rear, I mean just everything and then get all these quick disconnects. Well Alpha Cool hooked it up and they sent me a couple more of these and then I bought the rest of it from a guy on eBay which is now a subscriber to the channel and everything. But this right here was the quickest way of going about it guys because I would have to buy this fitting, this fitting the tube and then to get the uh, the kinker this spring that goes on it keeps it from kinking it would be more money so this right here cost me like 40 bucks for all of this when in fact if I was to buy it all individually and try to put it together it would have cost me several hundred dollars so I have everything I need now but I needed something to put it in so let me show you guys what I did check this thing out this is the test bench that I have been working on. I took apart the DIY filter and built it myself. I took an old case, cut it in half, put it in the back, and then went around and built this frame out of, well, out of T-slot aluminum. It looks great. Uh, I do have another reservoir coming, but this is kind of the general layout idea. I was thinking about having the dual reservoir set up here and then one of the pumps there and then having it all channeled out through there because we have our new water block. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha. It's so pretty. And it's going to sit like that. And then we have our graphics card that will go in there and it will sit like that and then we got one more thing we got a um rgb heat sinks coming for the ram and that's going to look epic we went ahead and got a um what do you call it a power supply that is oh what's the word for it modular Therm yeah it's modular um down over here is going to be how we're going to control the system whoops i'm going to have two of these these are fan controllers, so that way I can control the pumps and some of the fans individually. And I like this. This thing looks pretty cool. Look, it even has its uh, a dust filter for the uh, power supply. And I built it out of. Uh, it took me um, it took me a little bit to build it, you know. And it's it's still got a couple things loose with it, but um, you know we got to go with that and everything. Um, I got a new Acer monitor that I bought off of uh, Facebook for 20 bucks. It was a good deal. What we're going to do is, is we're going to take here. We're going to take this. Check this thing out. This is a uh, an arm bracket. But what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to mount it on my desk 
like that. It'll sit like that and it'll go up and then I'll mount that monitor so that way I can have three monitors going in my setup. Uh, but yeah, my room's a real mess, but it's mainly because I've been working. Uh, my room's definitely a mess, but it's mainly because I've been working on all of this stuff. But I, I tell you what, this this wouldn't have happened if um, if Alpha Cool wouldn't have reached out to me. Thank you so much, guys, for your for your help. I know that I'm not a very big channel, but I do appreciate you guys what you're doing for us and. I know my fans enjoy it and we really do appreciate it so thank you for your help uh, let's see here I think I got some more let's see here what's down inside the bag here uh, these just look like fittings and stuff but one of the things that I wanted to show y'all uh, was a that water block comes with a light so I can I can uh, RGB the light up of course you know you're gonna want to do that but Man, I'm I'm great. Did I tell you guys I went ahead and changed it to Windows 10? I changed it to a, a 240 gig hard drive and then I put Windows 10 on it and stuff. Uh, we got our fans going. I decided to run these uh, finger grill protectors. So that way when I'm reaching in here and doing stuff, this fan and the fan that will be here doesn't accidentally knock my finger out. But do you guys like my test bench that I made? I think it's... I mean, I think it looks phenomenal. I did a great job on it, and it's exactly what I wanted. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and let's start doing some stuff. I'm going to try to put that water block on. Once I get the water block on, I can get the system bolted down. I can put that in it. And then I need to figure out where to plumb up some stuff because I'm still waiting on both of the radiators to come in. I decided that we're going um, let's see here I thought that I had sorry for the mess I know it's crazy um, it's, it's just how it goes sometimes wait a minute oh here we go oh, sorry reaching real low for it I got my bunny with me hey bunny hey bunny I swear she makes a mess of everything <laughs> um, so anyway the radiator the radiators are going to sit off to the side like that. All right, so I have one there, and then we'll have one there, okay? And then in the center, we'll have the radiator, or the, uh, the reservoirs. I got one more of these coming. This is my older one. It's kind of scratched and beat up a little, but the uh, this is the newer one that just came, and um, we're going to have to get it lined up drill the holes on it I also have a top piece that goes on here that I made um, but I can save that for another day and then what I was thinking about doing was taking these smaller 80 millimeter fans they don't have any RGB to them but maybe I can get some RGB and putting them inside of the system somewhere so that way they blow cold air on the system directly which is something that I kinda want but you know, it's it's a work in progress. We got to figure out how to get that wired up. The hard drive is just going to sit on the back side of it, and um, the DVD player will probably just sit down here on the back. So yeah, all right, guys, that's uh, that's what we're doing. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. It looks like I got about 49 minutes left on this. I hope the quality of this is great. I'm using a uh, a GoPro. Uh, Hero 3 that a friend of mine let me use and it has like 4k I think it's 4k at 1080p or something like that I'm not sure but the quality on it is excellent I mean it just it looks great I mean you can see the uh, the comic wall you know perfectly did y'all see this too look I added a, a boom arm to come in and then it sits in the upright like that and then whenever I want to talk I can bring it down and then I can I can use it like that but okay so I need to I need to take this motherboard out. Is what I need to do. I need to take the motherboard out gently, and I have to figure out how to install that water block because the water block didn't come with any directions at all, none whatsoever. So yeah, I'm gonna see here. I'm gonna sit you guys down somewhere if I can find a a spot for it. Um, I don't. I think that's any of it. So 
This must be the plate that goes under it. So I'm just going to take... Man, that water block looks great, don't it? This was uh, $17. I found it for $17. Bucks. And then this light, it runs off of a, a Molex, which I'm okay with it. They wanted more money for it not to run off a of Molex. For it to run off of a, like a CPU fan header, I didn't want to do none of that. All right, so let's drop these in our hand. Oh, there's like little clear washers to it and stuff, so I'm not really sure. I think I know how this works, because it, if it works just like any other water block. It's... Oh, this flat pe Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Sorry. Okay, cool. So, you got to remove all them little brackets and just go ahead and screw in what you got. Like so down this might be uh, you know a lot of times I cut stuff like this out of the videos because a lot of times people I don't know maybe they don't want to see it but really it's it's not so much trying to see it, it's you know it's learning about it so we're going to put this in like that so we're installing the CPU water block it's just one more step closer to progress and then I'm waiting on the reservoir one more reservoir and two radiators to show up once those radiators show up I'll have to wash them out because you wanna you always want to wash out your stuff because there could be plexiglass shavings left in it there could be metal shavings in it I mean I have found all kinds of stuff in those things so you want to make sure that you wash that stuff out all right so all right so i got my four pins installed where's the block at okay so here's the block it looks a little dirty let's wipe that down don't forget to remove the sticker that's on there. All right, so it looks like looks like everything is good. What do y'all think? Looks good, right? Everything is nice and tight. I can see where we're getting good. And that's a good fit. Okay, so now this light right here. Whoops, I don't know what that was. I'm not worried about it. So this is just a Molex, which is, I'm okay. And then the light, it looks like the light just kind of fits into a little socket in the back here. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to take it and kind of press fit it in there. Yep, I can see it's exactly how it goes kind of take it squeeze it in there all right so we got that done let's uh let's see what it looks like like that is everything on No, maybe not. I may not have that hooked up. I may not have that hooked up. Hold on a second. Let's see if uh, we got the other shit going on over here. Okay, here we go. So we'll get these. Take that. Take this. Put it in. Well, should plug it in. Alright. Uh oh. My light don't work. Oh, come on. It's just an LED. How the fudge can it not work? Um. Should work. I got power going to this, right? Let me see. Oh, 
Oh, fucking. Yeah, look, we got power. See the fans? The fans are spinning. Great. So our LED light doesn't work. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? How does this not work? It's just a it's just an LED. That's it, and it don't work. Ah, I guess that's what I get for paying ten dollars or something. Well, that's okay because ah, I'm not worried about it. Me being me, I can fix that. Not a problem. It's just a light. No problem. I can fix it. So anyway, that's the way that's going to go. And then what we'll have to do is we'll have to figure out what kind of the way that we're going to get it and how it's going to go. I'm not sure about everything yet. So, all right. So we got this in. The light doesn't work though. And I don't, and it's fairly simple. So it should work quite well, but it's not. And I like how that water block looks. So this, here, let me, let me set y'all back down real quick. Like so. fittings oh yeah all right so we just got to figure out what's going to run to the block and what's not going to run see I was thinking about taking one of these off right because some of these are small and I need to be able to run a filter I have a filter that needs to go on the system uh, but at the point of time I don't know where it is wait a minute no, I don't. I don't know what to do with it. I got too much stuff everywhere. Because I would like to incorporate a flow meter, all right? And then I have a actual filter that filters, you know, the water. And I don't know what to do with it. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. So you have a filter right there. And I'm going to put that filter on it so that way at some point it can get into the system. But I need to figure out how to get this stupid thing off and... I don't know where my pliers are at. Uh, I had a pair of, I had a wrench around here somewhere. Nice crescent wrench, but who knows what I do with that too. I know I'm not the only person that when they start a project, start working on stuff, this is what their area looks like. Cause I know that everybody's work area is usually screwed man I cannot get that off yeah I'm gonna need a damn it all right so we're gonna need uh, a wrench or something because I got to take these fittings off and get them get this all lined up and stuff so okay all right, I am, uh, let's see here. We got to, let's go out to the garage real fast, y'all. Set y'all down in the upright position. So a, uh, a friend of mine, all right, he has a YouTube channel called The Man Cave, okay? Anyway, uh, he did these RC bodies, and I think he did an incredible job on them, both of them. You know, if you guys are into RC cars and stuff like we are, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, my parts wall is starting to get kind of thin and everything, and then that's where I keep some of my hardware. Look, I got a new computer bag in. I love it. I love it. And a new power supply. 
whole bunch of fans and everything, the project. Okay, so we are going to go out in the garage real fast. All right, we got to put a pair of shoes on. Where my bunny doing? Oh, she's over there. Isabella. Hey, bunny. What you doing, bunny? Oh, here comes my dog. I'm just going out in the garage for a second. I'll be right back. All right. Man, it's nice to see it warming up. i tell you one thing for sure. This little GoPro, it does a great job, but the camera gets kind of warm. And you better make sure you have a big SD card in it. That's for sure. All right, hang on. Let's, uh, look at all the stuff I got in the back of my truck. It's ridiculous. Uh-oh. Hang on. Let's see here. Need some keys. Okay. And then we will hit the garage button. This is the garage. It's messy right now. But I have been working on my YouTube work and i've been working on my ebay store and stuff this right here is just some scaffolding that i built to help um build some lighting and some rigging and some other things and items i got uh what did i come in here for because i do not remember there has to be a reason why i came in here and i need to figure it out before i run out of tape uh so yeah why did we come out here we needed something Let's see here. We did need something. That's why I was like, crap, I gotta go out in the garage, but I don't remember. So, alright, just give me a second. Alright, so we are back from the garage. And we're walking into the room. Yes, my room is messy, but what do you expect? Okay, so we came in here and we went through all that. to get these now if you don't want to scratch your fittings all right because that will happen because the metal will tear this up so you want to wrap a cloth around your fittings all right so that way you don't destroy it and then you just can grab your fitting and twist hold on there we go all right now I got it loose I can get it with my hand. No, I grabbed the wrong fitting. Crap. It's the one at the bottom. That's okay. We'll unscrew this one. Just so I can get the other fitting in there. There we go. Okay. So. Let me show y'all something real quick. And I did it just to show it to y'all. Alright. If you don't use a cloth when you put metal to metal, alright, you're going to do stuff like that to it. Put a nice little shine grinding. You want to keep your finish nice and clean. So, alright, so we got that installed. I'll put the pump there. I don't need my cloth, so I'm gonna take this. And then I would like to kind of figure out how I want this. So I'm thinking that, see, we'll have an in. So I was thinking about chaining the CPU. See, I would like to have it to where the water runs, the water runs in and then goes out, hits a radiator, goes back out, hits the CPU, hits the radiator. So that way everything is cool. I didn't really want it to go from CPU to or gpu to cpu and i also wanted to install that um this this little uh filter that we got here so we're just going to unscrew it like that tell you what trying to get camera angles for everything is kind of a pain so one of them needs to be like that so i'm just going to take it and maybe go that way with it i don't know that's another thing this thing flows one way and only one way i'm pretty sure it goes that way let's 
So anyway, we're just going to screw it on like that. And then I can take it and set it in the water block like that and run it whoops let's uh let's get that kind of screwed in there real quick i just need it to sit there okay so i can run it to the back right which the second pump will be sitting in the back like there to catch everything and then i really like it that it has this uh this block this brass or this copper block on the bottom of it i think that's really cool because that's going to help with cooling quite a bit just for this pump alone it's 70 dollars on amazon so yeah <laughs> hopefully it does a good job so i'm thinking about running it that way okay so i can snake it to the back and then have the gpu sit in there like this and then we can snake Whoop. and we can um and we can snake it through see i could do it through the other side and then pump it in that way but i'm not too sure how we're going to do this i really need to get the other radiators in here um i think the way that we're going to mount them is we're going to use the t-slotted rails on the side to do it um, and I really like these quick disconnect fittings. This is going to make night and day differences. So, yeah. All right, man. What do y'all think? Y'all cool with my ideas? This 32-bit monster project has been turning into some craziness. Um, and then I went ahead and built this uh, test bed to go with it. So, once we have it all done and everything, it's going to be good. So, the last video. I'm going to make one more video after this one. The next video that I make, this system will be fully functional and running. You're going to have the lights will be on, the RGB, the water will be flowing, and it will look cool. So make sure you guys hit me a like, tell me a comment. I need some support from you guys. I am so happy to see my numbers have finally hit in the 90s. We're at like 96 subscribers right now. Thank you so much. You know, tell your friends about it. The more that we can get, the bigger I can get this ball rolling, the more cooler projects that we're going to do. I'm going to try to do things differently than the way that Jay and Linus and the way that all them guys do it. Um, we're going to, I'm going to do it a little differently. So yeah, welcome to my madness and to my projects. I'm Don with Tech PCs and as always, y'all be cool and thank you so much for watching. I'm out because I got to figure out what to do with all this stuff and everything else. So yeah, you guys be cool and we will see you guys next time.